Currently we're in the Arnavon Islands, which is a small group of islands in the Manning Strait between Isabel and Choisel Province in the Solomon Islands. And it's an important site for our work for the Nature Conservancy because it's the largest rookery for the critically endangered hawksbill turtles in the Western Pacific. We've got quite an exciting project going on where we're putting 10 satellite tags on the shells of adult female nesting hawksbill turtles so we can learn more about their movement patterns, so we can learn more about which beaches they nest on, where they've migrated from, from their foraging grounds to nest, and how well they're currently protected by the current protection here in the Arnavon Islands. So hawksbill sea turtles are one of the species which are listed as critically endangered. For hundreds of years, or at least 150 years, about between one and three thousand hawksbills a year were being taken out of the Solomons, with many of them coming out of the Arnavons. And then the trade really peaked in the 1960s, 70s and 80s, and from about 82 through to the early 90s, up to five to six thousand turtles were being killed every year in the Solomons, the vast majority coming out of the Arnavons. So this week we're, we're using some satellite transmitters to get some really detailed, in-depth information on where these turtles are going. So we're, we're capturing nesting female turtles and then we're applying satellite tags, fiberglassing them to the back of these female shells and then we're letting them go. So for most sea turtles they will nest four to five times or lay four to five clutches in a nesting season and we know very little or nothing about where they go in those two weeks between subsequent nests. If we find that most of our 10 tagged females spend a considerable amount of time outside of the protected area while they hit a nest, then there would be a very strong argument for increasing the size of the Arnavon conservation area. What the tagging information will also tell us is, is how loyal these turtles are to the Arnavons in terms of nesting. So it's true that most turtles come back to their natal areas in order to nest, but most turtles aren't 100% loyal. And one of the things we're interested in is identifying other beaches where they potentially nest in significant numbers and then looking to see if those areas should be potential protected areas under existing efforts in both provinces to establish protected area networks. And the third thing we're interested in is where do these turtles go once they finish nesting. We know from some earlier flipper tags that a lot of these females migrate great distances um, from Australia or Papua New Guinea in order to come to the Arnavons to nest. We're now into 21 years since the establishment of the Arnavons Community Marine Conservation Area and we've seen the number of nesting turtles uh, more than double since the formation of that protected area. That's the first known example of recovery for a critically endangered hawksbill species anywhere in the Western Pacific. So that's, that's pretty significant. And I think this place was hammered for over 200 years. Um, the initial attempts were a failure. The, the station was burnt to the ground. But the, the story of the Arnavon Samiri really is, is one of hope with long-term commitment, with the involvement of local people, um, with the right approach for place, I, I think you really can, can make a difference.